Good afternoon. Well, in the workshop today, we have a three ton Hitachi Mini Digger. As you can see, I've done quite a bit on it to prepare it to get it to this stage. The main uh, pin is in two sections, top pin and bottom pin. Now, what I have done is ripped the whole of the top out. Uh, and this has uh, caused a bit of a catastrophe uh, on site. So as I've got the thing down the workshop now. So as what we've done to, uh, to repair this is we've machined a pin because uh, Itachi, on their wisdom, was made pins what are like 72 millimetres whereas uh, I've got plenty of 70 mil in stock so as I've turned this down from a piece of 80 mil pin uh, and I've hacked and ground everything back and I should be able to get underneath there to put some good strong welds now if you look at the original welds uh, what it's actually have done not very good um, to be quite honest with you um, quite appalling but uh, also underneath there, there was quite a lot of crap welds as well. So as we're going to do it properly, uh, it's a, I would say, and a lot of people would say it was a temporary repair, or a lot of people say it can't be done. But uh, no, I give a 12 month warranty on my repairs. Um, so as, what I shall do is put some photos of the finished job, and that will be guaranteed for 12 months, providing that the bottom pin don't fall out. And the reason why the bottom pin fell out is because if you look, there's a bolt which goes through the pin. So there's obviously um, driver error, bolts come out, pins drop, not realized, work the machine, and then it's ripped the top out. So as what we're gonna do when that's back in, we're gonna put a pin retainer underneath the pin, uh, which you can knock off with a hammer as a safety device because if the pin was to fall out again, the same thing would happen again. No matter how good a welder you are, they'll rip the buggers out. So as, uh, I'm gonna preheat this up. I've wrapped all the cables up with some uh, asbestos blanket. I'm gonna preheat this up and I'm gonna bang some, some, some welds in there, uh, some low hydrogen, uh, which will sort that out and then weld it underneath. I'll put a brace in to brace it. Uh, and everything's really, nice and tight so as, uh, it shouldn't move too much but we'll remove everything when it's all cooled down so as, uh, thanks for watching um, hope you've uh, learned a bit off this um, I am trying to do a, a lot more teaching uh, and on the things I repair as well uh, which is quite good for the young ones these days uh, because there's lack of skilled guys. Now I've seen some horrendous repairs in my time, but I'm sure you all know about that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, look at me YouTube channel, please subscribe um, because then I can get some <laughs> video editing gear and, and then do it properly. <laughs> but thank you very much, bye. Mini Digger part two, right, Hitachi. Uh, as you've seen by the first video of uh, how it has all come away. So as what we've done, we've done some, some multi runs around here, uh, 2.5 uh, 2 low origin rods. The, the multi runs have all been ground out and later on it's got to be sanded out as there is a step in there. So as I've recreated the step, which I'll buff out after that will bring that all back to normal. Now, as you can see, on the original Itachi, how they did the, uh, the boss mount, that obviously this had been flush here, and there was a weld continuation down there. So it's quite a weak point when you look at it from that uh, view. And also, there's one single run round the boss and around here as well so as we've as you can see we've beefed that up so as what we've actually done if you can have a look at the other side 
I've built all this up with weld and also I've put a block at the rear so I've, I've used that to uh, penetrate to once I've welded this joint up so as all that now is ready for being blended in so as it'll put from part of the plate which will give it a bit more beef than, than the manufacturer in all fairness so as we swapped over from the one side to the other the pin come out this morning uh, it didn't drop out it was a slight tap so as it's, it's nice it's nice and tight so as all I've got to do now I've welded all the under underside underneath I'm going to fill all this in with layers of multi runs and then blend all that back in after then it's just a case of blending everything in and giving it a primer and a paint and assemble the machine now I give 12 months warranty on any work what I carry out with that estate uh, and I don't think this guy will have any problems ever again well famous last words and touch wood but thank you very much for watching and I hope this has been uh, a bit of a learning curve for most people please subscribe to my video channel on YouTube thank you bye